Hello. Captain Mitchell, sir. We all think you did a hell of a job down in Mexico City. I followed everything on the narcom. So yeah, hello. <laughs> but then you can fly up to real life into life then. Yeah, this is Ghost Recon Advanced Warfight 2. Uh, I'm quite happy about this because this is actually my first time ever playing this game. I downloaded the demo of it uh, and didn't play it once. So yeah, this is my first time playing this game. So uh, you guys can enjoy the games by whilst pissing yourselves laughing at my new bush ways. Okay, let's get back to the game. For the recent outbreak of rebel activity in Honduras, Colombia, and Panama, unnamed U.S. sources now confirm their connection to yesterday's coup attempt in Mexico, raising concern that violence is spreading across the rest of Central America. Reporting live from Panama is Marco Zambrota. In the last 24 hours, the rebel forces here, led by Gabriel Alfaro, have essentially shut down the Panama Canal. U.S. forces have moved into the area, and it's widespread reports that the rebels are looting ships and stealing their cargo. Ah, my eyes are itchy. Damn, Captain. How the hell did you make it out of Mexico City? I know you probably want to hit the hay, but General Keaton's got another situation going, one that requires the ghosts. So they've asked me to prep you for your next assignment using this battle simulator. Your performance during the simulation will be evaluated for the score given at the end of each phase, so try to treat this as a real combat situation. Ooh, I get the score. <laughs> okay, uh, so if I'm correct, yeah, if I'm correct, it should just be the, f the same control as. Red song. Now to open your soul. Oh, so it's X to the low. Okay. Outstanding, Captain. Oh. 
Careful, Scott. An enemy patrol has been spotted down the street to your left. Your mission is to neutralize it. Use the various covers around you to avoid being hit. Squirt on the one dollar every game. Randomly, it's probably because I'm trying to reload. Hits received, zero. What? Huh, so I didn't even get shot. Okay, Captain, now you'll learn how to identify threats and neutralize them from a distance. For that, you'll use a rifle equipped with a scope. Go to the position indicated on your HUD to get your rifle. environments, threats can come from anywhere. They can be lurking around a corner or waiting to prey upon you from a rooftop. Your scope will help you identify these threats. Scott, now take your time and stay focused. Huh, oh, no more. Shepard. Okay, Scott. Hostiles have been spotted on the hillside due east of your 20. Reach their position and take them out. Stay frosty, Scott. Try not to be surprised by your enemies. Oh, last thing, you'll be scored on the headshots you made. Okay, here. Son of a bitch. How many enemies? Oh, five. Press your HUD if you exit the area, Captain. Never mind. 
Ik vind het allemaal als een sprint, als het er ooit een sprint misschien. Ah, dan ga je dus perfect de spelen zo doen. Ik ga weer clear shot. Five headshots, perfect. Masterly. Okay, um, hope this video is not drag too long. I want to finish this mission and end the episode. Sometimes you'll be confronted by threats that you can't defeat directly. In this part of the simulation, we will look at stealth techniques for approaching a target without being shot. Perfect. Oh, that was cool. Oh. I'm done on it. I'm done. I'll piss off. There's a tank over there. <laughs> I think the tank's just waiting for me to. When there's no cover nearby, you can use smoke grenades to hide your progression. Fucking for your police. You will now have to approach and neutralize a hostile heavy armor piece. To do this, you'll have to move as close as you can and throw an explosive charge near the vehicle. Remember to use available cover and smoke grenades to avoid movement. Alright, um, smoke grenades.
lots of life in. Okay, now that's not too much. So I'm gonna end this episode here on the whole one. Alright, Rosalie. Let's hurry up and finish this exercise so we can get out there and do some damage. Now, Mitch, Captain, this is your team. The screen on the left of your HUD is the new Crosscom command interface. It will allow you to give orders to your teammates and control such vehicles, drones, helicopters, and even heavy armor vehicles. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Alright, this is kind of annoying. It's getting a bit long, kind of. Nope, wrong thing. Wait, on the left of the screen. What's going on over there? No, we're going to. Ah, okay. Uh... Ah, yeah, go there. Stay fast and check your sounds. Wait. Oh, oh I understand. Pretty good. Oh no. Oh, stop. We're with you, boss. Move into position. In position. Huh. Your teammates will hold your position. Now we are in their position. Oh, so go lead them. Oh. Regroup. Regrouping. Sorry if this video is dragging quite a bloody bit. Lead the way, Captain. Well done, Captain. For the next part, we'll work on advanced battle tactics. Your teammates can use two rules of engagement, recon and assault. Let's try these modes in a battle situation. Yeah. Okay, now it's gone dark. No, that's not good. Check up ahead for us. Go quiet. Roger that. Let's 
Good decision. I think you're ready to use your team in a battle situation, so let's go. Okay, secure the area indicated on your tactical map. An area is considered secured only when no enemies remain in the zone. Last thing, since this exercise is for testing your command skills, do not use your own gun. Try letting your guys do the job. Two, two, southwest. Oh, one. Bang, bang! He's dead, Captain! Is he just a gun bang? He's dead? We'll focus on how you communicate and deliver orders to your teammates. Quick responsiveness and team cohesion are keys to success on the battleground, and your time spent here will pay big dividends once the shooting starts. Go quiet. Lots of it. No, please, your team. Okay. Let's move. Move into position. The position. Blue me lives here. Oh. We got contact, boss. Boss, got an enemy vehicle entering the area. Do northeast.
to the position indicator on the tactical map. Let's take this safe and slow, people. Does it make the position of the I can't go off this. This is stupid. I don't understand. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 True transport. Oh. The drone has detected a rebel soldier, but beware, the drone is within enemy range and can be shot down, so you may want to keep it at a safe altitude. Once the drone has marked a soldier, a red intel marker appears to indicate his position. These markers will remain on soldiers as long as the drone is in their vicinity, but be careful. If the drone leaves the area, the intel markers vanish. Okay. 
gets all the way forward. Use the drone to scan a threat, the more reliable data it will collect. Finally. Okay, Scott, you did great. I think that about wraps up the battle scene. I've got General Keating standing by with a mission plan he's developing. He'll fill you in once you're back in the black. So. Uh. Well, fuck. That finally ends episode one. Um, I should pause it, but that ends episode one. Um, so, thank you for watching and goodbye.